David Palmer is here with what he expects from this year's Academy Awards. Okay, David, let's make our bets. Yeah. Let's do this, man. Yeah, you know, this one's a really intense competition, especially yeah. in the stars. Especially okay. if we start with lead actor. I mean, Bradley Cooper and Christian Bale are at... It's so hard to determine in this chart yeah. aspect, you know? Especially because Bradley Cooper's a Capricorn, and they have a lot going on right now in their lives. Okay. So many planets are in Capricorn, and this is the biggest amount of Capricorn energy since 1517. Whoa. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah, everybody knows the, the Capricorn energy in 1517 was Oh, we all know. It was so <laughs> crazy, right? You know, I mean, I have good pictures of it, yeah. too. Actually, some paintings. But, you know, there's this, there's this thing about Christian Bale, the Aquarius, too. It's their birthday time right now. Okay. And he has so many things in their chart. But if I were to edge it out, I'd pick Bradley Cooper. Really? Yeah, he's got this just, like, extra... Nudge on it. Is it because the movie's called A Star Is Born? Uh, maybe. Uh. No, I think it's with um, with Bradley Cooper. I mean, to have the planet Saturn exactly at the position of your sun, which is exactly happening now, that's a 29 and a half year cycle. Okay. So he's having more rare stuff happen. Okay. And this is all based on birth dates. Yeah, right? and, yeah. I'm okay. looking at his actual birthday. I'm actually yeah. looking at what's going on with that, and okay. I'm actually looking at also their signs too, and just okay. what's going on. It's gonna be difficult when you're dealing with stars because everybody lies about our ages, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I know. Somebody like tries to tells me, oh, I have this, and then I'm like, yeah. oh, I, I know your real birthday. <laughs> Especially down in Hollywood, right? Everybody's right, right, like, right. oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I know who you I know where, where I know you your born. real birthday. Yeah. Let's talk about actress, okay? Yeah. Uh, you got uh, Yaritza, you got Glenn Close, Olivia Coleman, Lady Gaga, and Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, so this one was an interesting one as well, especially because right now there's so many things happening, like I said, for Capricorn energies. Mm -hmm. The one that really got me the weirdest was Glenn Close because she's born the last day of Pisces, okay? okay. And there's this really weird asteroid called Chiron that's sitting right there. And there's like this really weird healing energy and there's this also this kind of like a weird loss energy. But this is happening like with the, that ending. And believe it or not, it's between her and I would say Olivia Coleman. And I really am hmm. feeling more of the Olivia Coleman energy. Really? And I know that it might sound kind of out there and no, like, like what, but just based off the astrology and where things are at, okay. there's a lot there for that. Although Olivia Coleman, man, she was fantastic in the favorite. So I, yeah. I'm with you on this. Yeah. I can't do the math that you're doing, but I'm with you on that. <laughs> yeah. All right, what else we got? What else? Okay, so we got supporting actor. Okay, yes. now I'm curious about this one. So we've got Mahersha Ali, Adam Driver, Sam Elliott, Richard Grant, and uh, Sam Rockwell. Yeah, so this one I'm going with Sam Elliott, believe it or not. Off the because, top, Yeah, okay. um, because he is a Leo, and there were major eclipses in Leo for the last couple of years. I don't know if you remember in August 2017, the one that went through America. Okay. Right? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. 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 Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, that really set off Leos to really kind of step into their power and really come into themselves. Okay. And for him, it's like, it's, this is going to be a huge, like, kind of change point for him. And right. I don't want to say it's like an ending point, but there is this kind of, like, big finale for him here. Oh. And this could be his big finale. Okay. Just a few seconds left. Let's do a supporting actress, Amy Adams, uh, Marina uh, de Tavira. <laughs> Tavira? I think that's it. Uh, yep. Regina King, Emma Stone, and Rachel White. Bice. I'm looking at Marina uh, de Tavira because um, this uh, Sagittarius energy for mm -hmm. her and her birthday, Jupiter's been right around here. And okay. She edges out at everyone else on this one. I didn't see Roma. Did you see Roma? I haven't seen Roma yet. I haven't seen it either. I've no. seen, I hear I amazing director, things about yeah. it. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, I'm just going off the, the stars. I'm not yeah. like trying to like look at, oh, what movie I liked or right. anything like that. Like, I'm just going straight off, off the that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay. Uh, we've challenged you to look at our birthday. To Challenge. Tell us a little something about us. I'm, I'm kind of scared, quite honestly. Oh, don't be scared. <laughs> I actually looked at all you all, and I was like, oh, you guys are coming out good. of a lot of, you know, weird stuff, but good stuff is yeah. all here. Okay, all right, all right. We're okay with weird, because we yeah. are weird. We are yeah. weird. Totally okay. fine. Totally fine. Cool. All right. Uh, nice to meet you, and we'll stick, uh, stick, stick around for yeah. the next hour. We'll okay, we'll right. talk about this, see what you see in the stars for us. Great. I love it, I love it. All right, we'll chat in a bit. All right, time now is 7.50.